everyone, my name is Symmetrix, welcome to another video. Today in this video I will be showing you how you can make spinning logo in Adobe After Effects and Sony Vegas as well. So uh, before I start this tutorial I just want to say this video is for SV Spotlight so hashtag SV Spotlight down in the comments below and of course leave a like on this video. And yeah this video is for Steven Mann and yeah let's just jump right into the video. So we're using Adobe After Effects CC as you can see here. So when you enter Adobe uh, After Effects, I know it's kind of, you know, for the beginners, it isn't kind of easy uh, to find out how they want to make their composition. So go to the composition, new composition, and pause the video right now and copy this uh, composition settings. And yeah, this is, this is about it. Click OK. And right now we'll need uh, to go to the file import and import file and I will import my logo of course you can do it without the ring but I will do with the ring so this will be a logo and the ring spinning around so import these two and uh, they were they will be all selected and just click on one and drag it down and it will drag double go to the layer 3d layer and that's about it so click on the one, number one so number one is the ring and I will just make it uh, look better click on two and make it look wider stretch it out like that you can actually uh, make a uh, middle with your uh, arrow keys on your keyboard you can replace them like this and of course yeah so right now we have this and we will need to click on this drop down on the first go to transform and go to the uh, y rotation so y rotation click on this and drag it all the way to 30 seconds and make it 360 what this will do this will actually make it spinning effect as you can see right here of course um, go to the second logo click transform go to the y rotation make it like that and make it 360 and what this will do this will actually rotate the logo itself uh, you can make it I don't know you can make it even more like it doesn't have to be 360 it can be let's say 360 let's say 700 and this will actually uh, turn like this which is kind of cool but if you want you can make it 360 and after you're done with it go to the composition go to yeah we can add to render queue and you can make it desktop and make it now we can actually go to documents and make it um, spinning logo right now it will render out the spinning logo so uh, the thing is the render will last like one minute or two that uh, it's just it determines about your PC you know uh, if you have low end PC it will take some time I don't know how much time but it will take some time but in it's like five minutes maybe like that is the time you need to render this uh, spinning logo so after we uh, render the spinning logo we will go into the Sony Vegas just to try it out you know because you will need to know uh, if your spinning logo isn't uh, working then you will have to go uh, again into Adobe After Effects and all this cool stuff so we're going we have estimated one minute for this rendering so I have pretty okay solid PC for this so of course uh, we go to the documents and go to spinning logo and this is how it is I know it's kinda uh, it is kinda you know boring right now but we will just make it it is slow you know it is slow I know and just jump right into the Sony Vegas project media and go here go here and right now we're here click on this properties uh, maintain aspect ratio and disable resample and right now click control and uh, just go down and this will uh, make logo go faster and it will look uh, better and of course you can make uh, fa 
even more faster logo but if you want like that you can do it like that um, we will just need to use some videos uh, let me just see yeah I have some uh, tutorials before so let me just jump right into like that and of course when you see you have you, you see it is black here and we will need to make all video uh, this logo stretch it all to the video to the end of the video and right now what you need to do is go to the transition go to the video FX go to chroma key here select chroma key here go to the default and just go and drop down default what this will do this will actually apply effect but not yet click on the color click on this sample tool and click on black right here and this will actually exit right now and this will actually remove the black background and right now go to the this here it's event pan crop and just make it look smaller so I, I will just need to zoom out a little bit and make it look even smaller like this and you can make it right here I don't know you can make it even here like that so right now as you can see it is turning right into the here in the corner of the video and yeah this is it thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you want more adobe after effects videos drop it down uh, drop a like down below and of course we will see you in the next one bye bye peace out guys